When you come across a curved reception desk or island that you have to draw, here's how you can do it with tangent circles and arcs in Did You Know with Dan. We'll use two examples, a curved reception desk and a contoured island. We'll start with the island. These drawings can be downloaded from our website under the CAD section. We're shown the finished island on the right and an idea of how to get there on the left. We'll leave the drawing of the finished countertop with the dimensions on the right. And we'll draw our copy to the left of it. Let's zoom in and get started. I usually try to find the easiest things to draw first. In this case, the two larger circles with a radius of 36, which are touching each other. So let's choose to draw a circle with a center plus radius. The radius would be 36. And we'll just click on a random spot in the open area for our first circle. And we'll click OK to a 36 inch radius for our second circle, which we'll place to the left of the first one. Now I can move one of the circles to touch the other at the quadrant point. Each circle has four quadrants, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 9 o'clock. So I'll choose Move, then I'll select the circle on the left, and Finish. And for the base point, I'll choose a quadrant. And then I'll select the quadrant of the circle that I'm going to move. And the position that I'm going to set it down on is the quadrant of the other circle. The next circle we draw will be tangent to the other two, meaning it will touch the other two. And then we'll draw one on the bottom as well. These circles will have to be drawn tangent. When we go to the circle icon and we choose the flyout menu below, we'll see an option to draw seven different types of circles. And we want to draw tangent circles and we know the radius is 24, which we can type into the radius field. And the new circle that we're going to draw is going to be tangent to two existing circles or arcs. So we'll choose two arcs. And then as prompted, I'll pick the first arc about where I'd want my new circle to touch. And I'll do the second arc as well. There are four possible circles that would touch the other two. I'm prompted at the bottom to escape, or I can right-click my mouse as well. And I'll choose to accept the highlighted circle from this menu. And I can continue on as prompted since I'm using the same settings, the same radius, and selecting two arcs. Here again, I have four solutions, but I'll right-click so that I can choose Accept the Highlighted Circle. And now, we're ready to trim. I want to make it look like the island on the right side. So I'll choose Trim, and then I'll select everything as a cutting edge. Then Finish, so I can trim away all unwanted geometry. To complete the drawing of our island. So let's do the curved reception desk next. Here again, we have the finished drawing on the right and all needed measurements on the left. I'm going to save all these dimensions and apply them to the finished curved reception desk to the right so we can reference them as we're drawing. I'm going to start with drawing the two 18-inch radius circles with the centers 50 inches apart. So I'm going to draw a horizontal line that's 50 inches long. And I'm going to use the length and angle method that we used in one of the previous videos by clicking on a point to start and then choosing 
F1 for the X and F1 for the Y to open the directions window. And then I want my line to go straight off to the right, which is zero degrees. So I'll click OK. And the length of the line is 50 and enter. Now I can draw the two 18 inch radius circles with the centers at the end point of the line that I just drew. I'll choose to draw a circle, center, and radius, and the radius is 18 inches. I'll choose an end point snap, and then go to the end of the line to click for the center of the circle. Again, another 18 inch circle, end point of this end of the line. And now we can draw our two tangent circles. I'll start with a 24 inch at the bottom. I'll go up to Geometry and choose Circle where I can see Tangent with a known radius is still active because that's the last one I used. I'll type in 24 for the radius and then I'll choose Tangent to two existing arcs. I'll pick on the first arc about here and the second arc about here. There are two possible solutions. I'll right click so that I can choose Accept the Highlighted Circle. Since I need to change the radius of the next circle to 60, I'll right click to finish the command and then press my space bar to bring it back up again. So I can type in 60, two existing arcs, about here and about here. Out of the many solutions, I'm going to accept the one that's highlighted by right clicking. And now we can trim and delete to make the shape. I'll choose trim and then select everything as a cutting edge and finish. Then click on what I want to trim away. If you select in the same order that I am, you may experience problems where some things won't trim. That's because they're whole objects and need to be deleted. We can see that easily with this line. And if we hover over these arcs that wouldn't trim, we can see that they could be selected to be deleted. It's easier to see and understand if we have show breaks turned on. We can see breakpoints at the top of both of those arcs because they were drawn as circles, which usually have a breakpoint at the top. And if we delete the arc sections, we can see we have some more trimming to do. So I'll choose Trim, select my cutting edge, finish, and then select the two arc ends. And now it can be joined together for programming with just one breakpoint. Thank you for watching. Now you know what I know. One more thing. Did you know that we have hundreds of resources available on our website for machine training and service? To find them, go to parkindustries.com. Thank you for choosing Park Industries.